Daddy is home. Hello, Miguel. <laughs> hey, where's your mama at? Across the street at a garage sale. And she better be, because if she left me for another man, she was supposed to take you with her. <laughs> oh, Dad, someone called for you. Who? It was either a man or a woman who smoked cigars. Uh, what'd they say? To tell you they called. Did you at least get a number? They said you had it. Well, when did they call? Before. Anything else I can help you with? Miguel, either you start taking better messages, or the only time you're going to be allowed to use that phone is to pick it up and call the orphanage to get your bed ready. Yellow. Okay, I'll tell him. Bye. Same guy. Sure, I should be watching it. Yeah, but if your mama asked, you were watching a documentary on mountains, which is not a complete lie. Look what we got at the garage sale, Daddy a one legged Barbie doll, a broken lamp, and a tattoo with bread stuck in it. All right, hey, baby, why don't you put it in the garage next to my A track with Billy Ocean stuck in it? No, 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 if you didn't work every Saturday, you could have come with us. Have to work, baby. A businessman is like a shark. If he stops moving, he ends up on the beach, covered in flies with little kids poking him in the eye with sticks. Hey, Daryl, check out this great leather baseball cap I got. Dave, it's say surely on it. Who cares? Only costs 60 cents. I have to admit, I feel a little guilty buying all the hell stuff. How who? How Holtz. Oh, that jerk in the blue house? Yeah, he died on Tuesday. Ooh, I'm sorry to hear that. Great guy. <laughs> An excellent taste in footwear. Check out the cap toes, bro. Yeah, his wife is selling all his things. Here, Michael, I got you this toothbrush. <laughs> cool, and it's still wet. How host is dead? He could have been more than 35. I remember like it was yesterday, he was taking that nap under his hammock, with the lawnmower still running, and that cell phone just clenched in his hand. Tell him the worst part. That is the worst part, Shirley. Even before Hal dies, he borrows my lawnmower. Now, how am I supposed to get that back? Well, you can ask the widow if she wants a lawn cut for the funeral. I think they did it on purpose. He knew he was sick. What kind of guy borrows a mower when he's got a cough like that? Let it go, Dave. Never. It was a lawn board. Check this out, D. They don't make shirts like this anymore, bro. <laughs> Pure silk, line, deep pockets. Oh, wait a minute. 25 cents. Shirt just paid for itself. Why is her wife selling all this stuff? She has to. They didn't have enough insurance, and she's just trying to get a good price before the bank gets everything. Hey, well, the bank ain't getting this back, I'll tell you that much. We have enough insurance, don't we? Oh, yeah, baby. Remember, I took out some when Sydney was born. That was 12 years ago. Baby, we need to be prepared if you were to, you know, visit Hal in his new home. <laughs> Just face it, baby. Today, that policy wouldn't cover a pair of Michael's sneakers. Well, who died and made you Robin Givens? <laughs> I got news for you, girl. I ain't going nowhere. You know, nobody expects to go, but you got to plan ahead. If something happens to you, what happens to Yvonne and the kids? I don't know. Well, I guess they get jobs. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'll go get some more insurance. I'd go to the same guy, but they towed his office away. Hey, I got a guy. I'll set you up. All right, all right. What do I have to do? Nothing. You uh, sign a few papers, you get a physical, boom, you're insured. A physical? See a doctor? Oh, hell no. Look, look. I got a better plan. Forget the insurance. When Dave dies in that big car wreck, you can marry Sally. <laughs> what? That's legal in Hawaii, you know. Daryl. For the last time, are you gonna go get that physical or not? Not. Good night. <laughs> Daryl, come on. Now, baby, did, 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 you just said this was the last time. Yeah, but I want to talk about 
this? Come on, baby. Now, I don't believe in doctors. My, my family, we believe you should just wait a disease out. <laughs> well, that's it. End of subject. Good night. <laughs> and besides, well, what if they find something? Oh, honey, is that what you're worried about? Well, it's been 10 years. I could have cancer the size of footballs in me. <laughs> I love you. We're gonna have another 50 years together. 52 if you stop standing in front of the microwave. I think I want that too. Well, then will you please do this for the kids and me? We care about you. Really? You ain't just saying that so you don't have to drive it to her cell, are you? No, you big jerk. I love you. All right. I'll go. Thank you. Now, come here. Okay, turn your head and cough. Maybe you're gonna have to leave something for the doctor to do now. Oh, oh, oh. How the hell do I know? Count the sponges and check the x-rays. <laughs> Daryl, right? Yeah, hey, Doc, now look, before we start, there's something you should know. Yeah? What's that? I licked a couple of Elvis stamps so my cholesterol could be through the roof. <laughs> It's been a while since you've been to a doctor's office, hasn't it? How can you tell? You're wearing your robe backwards. <laughs> oh, I, I just didn't want to be hanging all out in the back. Ah, like this is better, huh? <laughs> anyway, my nurse was very impressed. <laughs> really? Hey, wait, that wasn't that guy that kept coming in here, was it? Uh, uh, this is just a routine examination. Take it easy. Nothing to worry about. Now, hey, just relax. Inhale. <laughs> Yeah. Exhale. Oh, do that again. <laughs> mm. Hmm. What you humming for? What is it? No, it's, it's nothing. You have a, a, a small heart murmur. Oh, man, I knew it. I knew you'd find something. All right, all right. How long have I got left, Doc? I can take it. But let me tell you something. If it's really bad, I ain't paying you. No, no. Listen, is, there's nothing to worry about. I have a heart murmur myself. Really? Mm -hmm. I probably caught mine from you. You should wear a mask or something. I, I'm, I'm sure you're in excellent health. Yeah, compared to you and your heart murmur and all. <laughs> all right. We're going to just conduct a few more tests. You can uh, fill this cup and be on your way. We are talking urine, right? God, I hope so. <laughs> hey, you know, this, this wasn't so bad. I told Vani there was nothing to worry about. I don't know why she made me wait all those years. Please tell me you get ready to wash some dishes. <laughs> hey, baby. Dave! <laughs> what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be out hunting lions in that jungle you call a lawn? <laughs> Take it easy on him, Daryl. He finally talked to Hell's widow. But before he could ask for his mower back, she asked him to return her dead husband's weed whacker. Well, it's not like he needs it. <laughs> dead men whack no weeds. <laughs> hey, Dad. Someone called for you and I took a message. You with your messages. Who was it this time? The guy with the thing from the place from before? No, how was this? Dr. Van Zandt called and her test results are in. Good. Did he say anything else? Uh, nothing much. Dangerous blood level something blah, 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 urgent. Well, let me see that. Oh, my God. What is it? He spelled urgent right. Oh, my God. Okay. There you go. There you go. Wait a minute. What about me? Didn't you hear the message? Oh, Lord God, get me back for closing the door and then Jehovah Witnesses. <laughs> I'm dying. Okay, thank you. Well, the doctor's whitewater rafting until Tuesday, so there's no way to reach him. What? I'm dying and that man's out partying on a boat? I did good, huh? <laughs> Why don't you kids go play? Kids, come close. I love you. We have to be strong. Why? Why, buddy? Why didn't you make me take better care of myself? Baby, just calm down, okay? Remember, Michael took the message. It could be nothing. Yeah, D, remember that time you thought you had the Hatter virus? You killed Sydney's guinea pig trying to make a vaccine? Yvonne is right, Daryl. We don't even know what the doctor wants to tell you yet. Don't we? I believe we all heard the message. 
something something dangerous blood. Maybe that could mean anything. Like what? <laughs> and besides, there, there's no doctor in the world that would go away for the whole weekend if you were really sick. Yeah, she's right, man. I mean, they might overcharge and occasionally remove the wrong organ, but <laughs> doctors are not uncaring, bro. <laughs> would you all please excuse me? This is the time I should be alone with my loved ones. Hey, Bonnie, Bonnie! <laughs> what to do. Daryl hasn't slept in 37 hours. Yeah, he says if he falls asleep, he'll die. Hey, hey, honey, I, I just finished another classic I never got around to. Moby Dick. I think it was about a fish. We having sushi? I've never tried sushi. Oh, never mind. No time, no time. Two more movies to watch with the kids. kids and, and they, and then it's off to the backyard where I will find and learn how to juggle chainsaws. Girl, I gotta call you back. Oh, come on, kids, wake up. Jerry Lewis can stay with longer than you, and he's in his 70s. He only works two days a year. We're sleepy. And drink your coffee. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. But this could be our last chance to experience the magic of cinema together. Come on, come on, pick a movie, pick a movie. In terms of endearment, Brian's song, ooh, Dolomite. For the love of God, man, let us sleep. <laughs> Daryl, what are you doing? I'm bonding with my legacy. Michael, you are my legacy. I don't care. <laughs> Kids, why don't you run on up to bed? Let me talk to your father for a minute. <laughs> Baby, we need to talk. I know, I know. So much to say, so little time. I am a better man for knowing you, Yvonne. My life began the day I met you. Oh, baby, shut up. <laughs> you're right, you're right. You're always right. I've been a selfish idiot. Trying to cram a lifetime of fun into three days. Painting in oils, arc welding, French lessons. Uh, but, sacre bleu. <laughs> it's not about me, it's about you. I should be acting maturely and responsibly. Baby, where are you going now? To prepare my will. It's time to plan for your life without me. Oh, cool. t -t 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 Don't cry, mon cher. <laughs> I have cried enough for the both of us. Who is this? It's four o'clock in the morning. This some dirty looking Santa Claus stinking of whiskey. Don't let him in. <laughs> Daryl said to come right over. What's wrong? I don't know. I was sleeping and... Millsap, why would you wear pajamas with the name Hal on the pocket? Because I'm digging his gear. By this time tomorrow, my new name will be Hal Sap. My friends... Oh, uh, God. God. Thanks for coming. I don't know how much time I have left, so I've decided to get my house in order while I still can. You woke us up to clean the house? Michael, don't make my last memory of you the one that tells me that you're an idiot. I was thinking the same thing. Look, I, I want to settle my estate while I'm still clinging to life. But you're not dying. Yeah, baby, this is way out of control. You know, Dee, all those times when you thought I was trying to kill you, well, it's about to happen now. <laughs> Let him read the world. He's got some good stuff. Right, right. You guys gather close, because I want to conserve what little energy I have left. <coughs> Sydney, my angel, I shall begin with you. To you, I leave my Lexus. Hey! Bill Sapp, my friend, my brother, my beloved second banana. <laughs> to you, I leave my most prized possession. Hey, I am not a possession. <laughs> I wasn't talking about you. <laughs> I'm leaving you my vending company. Partner with Michael. Oh, I don't know what to say, dear. How sap vending? How sap and son. Well, you're not my son. I don't care. You better back up off. It's my company. Do you, do you, do you mind? I ain't even dead yet. And Dave, 
I'm leaving you something you've been eyeing ever since we moved in. You've been looking at me, Dave. <laughs> Not you, baby. My lawnmower. That piece of garbage, it doesn't even have a grass catcher. <laughs> oh, did I say lawnmower? I meant you get nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> Sit down. What about oh. me? Do you have anything in that bag for me? <laughs> Well, sorry, Sally, there's no brain or heart in here, but you do get that big fork and spoon hanging on my mother's wall. They were supposed to come to me, but I saw you eyeing them at Thanksgiving. Now I don't have to eat giant pancakes with my hands anymore. <laughs> and finally, Yvonne. My Vonnie. Dad, you know, I don't want to hear this. I have decided how your life will go on when I'm gone. Your first option and a personal favorite of mine is that you join me in the grave. <laughs> but, barring that, I have given considerable thought to the selection of your next husband. Oh, the list was long. But one name stood out above all the rest. Richard Simmons. Have you lost your mind? Oh, come on, baby. You can stay slim exercising together in matching shorts and those little glitter tank tops. <laughs> This is stupid, man. I haven't wasted this much time since I shaved my whole body trying to make the swim team. I agree with Uncle Hal. Well, this figures this was the one night the kids were sleeping through. Hey, thanks a lot, Daryl. Oh, don't leave me. I'm, I'm, I'm so cold. Is it getting dark? Baby, are you all right? Daddy? Oh, baby, the time has come. I love you, Bonnie. Kids, Sap, Sally, Mama. Did he say Dave? Daddy? Hey, baby. What are you guys doing here? Did you guys decide to follow me to my grave like King Tut slaves? Well, I hate to disappoint you, honey, but you're not dead. You just passed out from exhaustion. Oh, Dr. Van Zandt, if you're here, it must be bad news. All right, what have I got, Doc? I can take it. Now, as it turns out, nothing. You see, blood levels that are considered low for many men can be acceptable numbers for some black men. It's called benign neutropenia, and I did not know that. Well, you'd think an offshore medical school would cover that. <laughs> don't treat too many black men, huh? No, as a matter of fact, Darrell's my second. The, the, the first was uh, Sammy Davis Jr. when he played the Civic Arts Center. Hey, I saw that show. Yeah. Oh, me too. Oh, he's a great guy. Oh, great, great show. Guy. Yeah, but Liza was a little off. Oh, man. Still, I, 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 oh, baby, I was so scared. And not scared of dying. Just scared of never seeing you all again. Listen, maybe I uh, better be leaving you all alone. Now, we're going to keep an eye on that condition, and uh, we'll be in touch. Thanks, Doc. So I'm going to be all right? Well, physically. I swear, baby, I... I'm going to start spending more time with my family, and I'm never, ever going to let work come before you all again. Well, for once, something positive came out of your stupid behavior. Right. And, and I'm going to make up a lost time. Starting next week, I'm going to take you to Paris, Rome, Egypt, and New York City. Well, Daryl, how can we afford a trip like that? Girl, we're going to Vegas. <laughs> we can see them all in 45 minutes. I love you, baby. I love you, too. Mm. Kids, get out. Man, it was a lot nicer when he was half dead. So, cigars, whiskey, none of this is bad for you? Nah. You know, that's the great thing about going to medical school in Antigua. They cut through all the bull. So, how long did it take you to get your degree down there? Six, seven years? Try days. It would have been shorter, but I was hung over one morning and I missed a semester. <laughs> Well, enough small talk. Let's get down to business. Hey, wait a minute, buddy. Hey, it's my house. I wash, you dry. 